Right. So then taking up from taking it up from your point again, because what I'm saying is that some of the arguments, some of the reasons we're giving are hypocritical reasons. If okay, taking, it, taking, taking it up from your argument again, mm. if there are men who are outside of you know the social strata, so because they are not well off, you know, they don't have wives, then I think the argument should now be for, for polyandry, right? So then women should then marry more of these men. Right, and not the other way around because we're turning this argument on its head. Oh my god, that's just because, funny. Yeah, yeah, we're saying because they are because they are a lot of unmarried. You don't, women, then you don't seem to understand the biology of evolution. The biology of evolution is that women want to breed out the weak ones. There, there's they, they um, generally want to breed out the weak men. You can't you don't want to reproduce father, with the weak men. For for father, with all due respect, it's not just women who want to breed out weakness, evolution treats both genders like evolution no, no, you, you, do, you are right there but i'm so, saying yeah. that you are saying so, that you should we should go to polyandry as the solution but I'm the women generally that, don't want to do that no, no no you don't understand my argument i'm saying that if we follow the arguments mm. that we've been raising here then it should logically lead to polyandry and i'm saying that the reasons we're giving don't support polygamy right we're saying that Poly hold, hold on hold on hold on if you so listen, because let me, let's, let's run down the the polyandry roots you are, you're talking about say the woman gets pregnant she's married to four men how do you negotiate that a again yeah, yeah i was coming to that and thank you very much for for raising um that, that mm. part. now anybody who is familiar with um Igbo culture and i mean Igbo culture before colonialism before you know before the coming of the british not what we have to be anybody who is familiar with Igbo culture will know that this thing about um uh, uh what was what was that thing you mentioned again sorry i, I think i have this i think you said are you, are you about or? about them um, testing um you know like when a child is giving birth to paternity testing right anybody mm -hmm. who's familiar with Igbo culture will know that Igbo people in particular don't do that thing so any child, once once the bride price of a woman is paid, any child that that woman gives birth to belongs to her husband. Nobody. So that's why when you even yeah, yeah, no, you me, didn't. Okay, you're missing the point on, of the question. Hold, the question hold, was hold, that. No, no, I'm just hold, because I'm you're going, going the wrong question. direction. Your question was hold on. Your question was if one woman, if she has four men, then when the child is giving birth to, who does the child belong? I didn't to? say when? birth. I say when she gets pregnant. You should listen to when the question. She gets, when fine, she gets fine. pregnant, the practicality of having uh, taking care of four men. The practicality of the woman taking care of four men. Yes. Why should the woman be taking care of the men? Why are they not capable of taking care of themselves?